Wow, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Um, thanks for the likes. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't, if you're not a subscriber. Um, the reason why I say damned if you do, damned if you don't is because I haven't gone to a pilot in about five years because I went into a Charlotte pilot with a um, raincoat similar to this one and uh, it was raining and the guy put his hand on his gun and told me he's gonna, you know, shoot me if I don't take my hood off. And I had no clue what he was talking about. I actually thought they were in the middle of a, of a, of a robbery. I asked him, is the place being robbed? Is something going on? And he's like, no, you got to take your hood off. And he had his hand on his gun. Like, he's really ready to blow my head off. So I went out and back to my truck and I called the uh, corporate headquarters and told them about it. And they tell me that that's North Carolina law. There's nothing they can do about it. Um, obviously, it's not North Carolina law. Um, the law is you're not allowed to cover your face in a public uh, road. That was private property. Um, Pilot puts the law all around its store. It doesn't apply to private property. It doesn't apply to being in the rain on private property. Nothing, it has nothing to do with it. But they were using it so they can shoot black truck drivers, African American truck drivers. So I said, all right, I, don't, I haven't been to a pilot, like I said, in five plus years. But damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, I'm at a T8 now and beautiful bathroom. It's the first thing I noticed when I walked in. Absolutely beautiful. It's like really a first class, if there were classes for bathrooms in a TA, this would be a first class bathroom. Beautiful lighting. That does work. It's an enormous shower. You can use that if you wish, but that does work. I use that. Beautiful. Just a really nice bathroom. The controls and the directions, which is really nice. Um, only one problem with this bathroom. I don't know if you've noticed it yet. I've shown you the lights. They got a boiler it's a problem in here. Can you see a problem with having a light that looks like that right on the mirror <laughs> when you're coming out the shower? So typically the light is on, you would never see that. You can't really see in there. But if you turn the light off, you see every single one of these lights, you can see right through right over the toilet, and of course, hey, there's the one thing that I know. You can see right down into every one of these light bulbs, and of course, there's one in every place where a person will be butt naked. <laughs> so um, that's not the only problem. I don't know if you see this. You can probably see this square here. That is a two-way mirror. You can see right through this mirror. If I go this way, you can see there's a cardboard box here. Sitting on top of it is a flat screen TV that's not functional. They've got some kind of like cardboard between the TV to try to block the light from the back room from shining into this room. So trying to stop it from being so obvious. If you look really closely here, You see the name of the TV. Can you see it there? That's a TV. So you can see the little wire coming down and the little antenna, the remote control sensor. On the wall, you have this thing, which is, should say, on and off, or if that's a TV that you can control, but it's clearly out of service because I, I haven't been able to turn a TV on. Um, somebody needs to explain why they didn't just spray paint the back of that because that's creepy as all get out and I'm a dude and I imagine this is set up for teens or husband and wife. So if you come in here and think, wow, this is a beautiful shower, let's take advantage of it. <laughs> You're going to have the capability of someone recording your whole activities. Keep your eye open out in these streets, people because there's a lot of weird stuff going on.